God cannot be tempted to do wrong, and He does not tempt anyone else to do wrong. He does not cause evil. There are things that God allows to happen, and sometimes those kind of boggle the mind. You know, how could God even allow this? But the Calvinist says God doesn't allow things, God causes things. If a human being tempts someone to do something wrong, would we say that human being that provided the temptation is holy? Of course not. But how is it that the Calvinist says God is holy even though he causes people to do wrong? Okay, I don't think you can have it both ways. Either God is holy and he has given man a free will, or God is unholy and causes man to do evil.